Hey guys, this is Alina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, go ahead and tap on the subscribe button and tap on that bell for more notifications. And don't forget to do all the other stuff. So, I know I haven't been on YouTube for a while and it's been quite a bit. And I knew I promised y'all that I would make new YouTube videos of like 2024 and stuff. But the thing is that it's been a lot for me lately and that's actually kind of what I wanted to talk about in this video. I just kind of want to, I was taking a break from YouTube like in the sake of mental health and my well-being but I can't wait to be back soon and making new videos but I actually kind of want to talk about like what life lessons like I learned like this year or this summer lately and I just feel like it needs to be talked about and for like anyone else if you can relate to it or if anyone's been through it before or just anyone who like needs to hear it in general okay so the first thing i want to talk about here is that like my high school experience in general all i'm gonna say is that there was a crap ton of rumors about me like it wasn't funny and it was like stuff that i didn't even do and it was like, I don't know why, but like those rumors from that time, just like, I don't know, it distracted me from like my schoolwork and stuff. And it just like kept like eating up my life. And it's, it was just like, I felt like I was like nobody. And like for them to be like so invested in someone else's life. And I was like so annoyed by that. But now that I graduated, I've been going to community college now. And, like, I just don't care what these people think anymore. I just feel like life is a lot easier when you stop caring what others think. Regardless, regardless of, like, what rumors or, like, your personal choices or anything beyond that matter. And also, I want to talk about my job as well. The summer job that I've been having. And to anyone that knows me personally then you know I work as a lifeguard during the summer and I've been with them for like three years and but like the crazy thing is that somehow I don't know how to explain it but like this like this year the job was like way different than it was last year in the year before but I don't want to say the name of like the pool company I worked for because that, that's just not who I am. Like I can't throw anyone under the bus like that. And I'm not going to be saying like anybody's names either. If anyone was involved with it, I just want to like protect their identity and everything. And I don't want y'all like coming after them or tearing them down or anything. This is just for anyone who needs to hear it. But anyway, this year, and like a new management came in and they just like completely took over the old management. And the crazy stuff is that they just started being like extra harsh around everyone, like more harsh than ever, like way more strict than last year or the year before. And it was just... I don't know I wasn't liking it and I know some other people I worked with wasn't liking it very much either and I don't know how to say it but like I used to enjoy working there but then like slowly after the summer like it's just been starting to mentally drain me and it's been like making me like depressed to go to work every day and it's just been like dreading for me and it's just I don't know if it's just me but I feel like it's like the job or like where you work at I feel like the vibes really matter you know and once the vibes like once it's not vibing anymore then I don't know about you but I'm gone <laughs> like what's the I feel the bad vibes like I'm, I'm out you know but yeah so basically, I quit in the sake of like mental health and well-being because it was just not doing it for me anymore. And you know, it got to the point where I wanted to leave 
And I didn't want to leave, but I had to. I had to. And then fast forward, when I was talking about high school rumors and stuff, when everybody else, when all the younger kids went back to school, and I was just still chilling at home, because my place, my community college, like, didn't start until after a week later. And then suddenly someone has been spreading rumors and starting rumors and telling everyone that I was fired when that's not true at all. Like, I literally quit for the sake of my well-being. And honestly, I don't know why, like, people would still be invested in someone else's life that let alone graduated months ago. And I don't know, it's just really confusing to me. I try not to let it, like, get the best of me and stuff, but, you know, it can be hard sometimes. And then, like, when people, like, talk crap about you, say stuff about you that, like, isn't true, it just makes you feel empty inside. It's like, it makes you think, like, is this really what they think of me? Like, am I really like this to them? You know, it, like, it doesn't make you feel good. And I don't get why people get entertained by spreading rumors around. Like, that's just not okay. And then I also remember how in high school, I was also getting a lot of backlash for, like, stuff I did in the past. And it wasn't even bad stuff. It was just me acting like a rude diva. That, that's pretty much it. But it's like, clearly everybody grows and changes as a person. And none of us were like perfect angels back then either. I mean, no one's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes and they grow and learn from it. No one was an angel at that time. And we were all literally children. And that brings me to the topic of middle school that I want to talk about. Middle school was a weird time. I'm going to say that. Definitely felt like a fever dream. And do you remember a lot of like kids judging other kids and stuff? And I just found it not okay. But of course, I didn't know back then as a child. And I, I thought, I was like, you know what? If all kids treat other kids this way, then maybe it's okay to do it. Who knows? Because it's like, I didn't have a brain back then. I did not know what I was thinking. But it's like, I do remember there was like these group of kids that basically, I remember how they used to judge me for like wearing justice clothes in middle school. When, when the clothing brand is literally meant for like tweens, like people like 10 to 12, around that age range area, even 13. And it's like, I know a lot of kids there were like pressured to grow up so quickly and it's just so sad to see that. And like looking back, I know those like Sephora 10 year old girls, I don't know why they're trying so hard to grow up, like just be children. Like when I was their age, I was just hanging around on the playground and watching Disney Channel or whatever. But even at, when we were at that age during that time, it wasn't that much better either because I still felt felt pressure from other kids to like try to act like adults or like act like a certain way or whatever and stuff and basically they would just like judge anyone who's different and it's just like you know what no because that's not okay like I'm gonna speak out and you know, I have like all these platforms and stuff, so I can use it all for good. These same group of kids in middle school, they would also be making fun of anyone who is like short or looks younger than their actual age. And one of those kids were me because I actually like tend to like look younger than my age a lot. And I'm also pretty short, like I'm 18, but I'm only 5'2". <laughs> 
but it's like yeah I don't know middle schoolers and high schoolers are mean like I'm just gonna be honest but here's the thing like if people make fun of you if people judge you if people spread rumors about you you can't control other people's actions but what you can control is whether or not if you care and whether or not if you're wanting to spend your time and energy to that. You can't let those kind of things eat up your life. You have to like shift your focus towards somewhere else. Focus on your interests. Focus on your goals. Focus on your passions. Motivate yourself with stuff that you love every day. I know it can be hard, but trust me, I made it and so will you. I just wish that I shifted my energy towards positive things more. And I would just wish I could have realized that before I graduated high school. But I feel like it's, I mean, the sooner the better. Like, it's better to realize it late than to never ever realize it. it there's never a late time to start, believe me. But yeah, and I know I've mentioned this many times, but yeah, the community college I go to, it's a really amazing place. And there's a lot of like chill people, like everyone's nice. There's like no drama. Everyone accepts you for who you are. There's no rumors either. Everyone's just kind of doing their own thing and it gives off such a cozy and comfort feeling, which I really love. Honestly, I just wish I could have shifted my energy more towards positive stuff rather than focusing on all the rumors or all the judgy people or like anyone making fun of anyone. And like, I just wish I was still doing my own thing like in high school, in middle school. But it, it's like, it's so hard because it's like all these people that's and they just all like coming at you and stuff. And, and I'm just like really thankful and happy that I'm out of high school and I don't have to like deal with this stuff anymore. And especially a lot of the times in high school, like you'd be forced to wake up at five in the morning and be there at seven in the morning. And it's like the lack of sleep also kind of screws up your brain, messes with your head. So you're not even able to normally function or perform well in school. And it's like, I remember being so stressed with all the homework I had and all that pressure I was like keeping up with. And it was so bad and I kind of fell into a little depression at one point. And I was just like, why am I doing this? Like, why am I, you know? Especially junior year. It was the most stressful year of all of high school. And, and yeah, I'm just happy that I have my energy shifted more towards positive stuff. And now that I'm in community college now, it's finally a fresh new start. Like, I've met so many great new people already. And, like, I just can't wait for everything. And I'm so excited. And it gives off a much better vibe. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I feel like I've definitely like grown and changed as a person. Not only throughout middle school and high school. But like this summer as well. Because I've also like learned a great lesson this summer. About like rumors. That you don't have to let rumors get the best of you. Just like, go ahead, do your own thing. Stay unbothered. Do not care what people are talking about you. Do not care what others think. You do you. You do what you love. Focus on your interests. Focus on your passion. That's exactly what I started doing. I found my passion in so many great stuff. And I've been trying to shift my focus into them. And I've been working on them. And it's been turning out pretty great. And I cannot wait to share my work with y'all sooner or later. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm just super excited that I finally, I finally found myself pretty much after high school. 
I remember from when I was a child, ever since when I was a toddler even, I've always been like very outspoken and have that like competitiveness, sassiness, but I was also very sweet and funny and I had like a strong sense of personality and the crazy thing is that in preschool, elementary school, I knew exactly what I wanted, exactly what I liked, no confusions, it's just straight to the point. And it was kind of like that in middle school too. Maybe throughout like sixth grade until mid seventh grade, maybe. But then the thing with like all the schoolwork and like all the judgmental kids there, that's one when, when I kind of lost myself in the crowd because of like all the other kids because of like the pressure to like like what the cool kids like or whatever or what they make you think like what they like is cool but what you like isn't which really sucks because we're all unique and different in our own good ways but then and I was like that, like, up until high school, like, too. But then after, like, after my junior year ended, and somewhere throughout my mid-senior year, I kind of started to find myself again. Find out what I truly love again. And what all my true passions and interests are. And I'm really happy about that, because of, like, all those pieces of me that I've lost and forgotten about a long time ago finally came back to me. And it's like I finally took back what's mine, you know? And same thing, like after I got out of high school, like I've been realizing all this more and more and more. It's like, honestly, whatever you're meant to do, it's what you're meant to do. Like if you love something, go for it. If you have a dream and a passion towards it, do it. Work towards it. No one is stopping you. Don't let anyone stop you from reaching or achieving your goals. Like, just block those judgmental or mean people out of your life and just do what you love doing. And I promise you, life is way more easier once you stop caring. Once you stop caring, it's just, whew, it's a weight ton of bricks off your shoulders. Trust me. To this day, I'm still exploring my passions and stuff. I'm still, like, looking into my interest. And I just love doing all of that which inspires me. And it just, like, up uplifts me as a person. And yeah, like that's all I had to say for you guys about like my whole journey throughout like middle school, high school, and like my mental health and well-being. And as well as like giving some motivational advice for you guys. Because if you're going through any of that in middle school or high school, don't try not to stress about it too much because honestly time be flying just like that and these kids literally have nothing better to do than just criticizing you or your work or whatever just don't pay attention to that negative energy and you just do what you keep loving on doing but yeah that's pretty much all i had to say for this video and i'm sorry for not posting for a while on youtube I will be posting more videos on YouTube now. And yeah, I'm actually planning on making a video on like early to mid 2010s, like trends from that time. And I'm actually going to be talking about it, how we need to like bring it back to today because it was such a great time back then. Everyone was vibing back in the day. But yeah, that's for another video. So stay tuned for that. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope y'all really like listened and stayed till the end to listen to me what I had to say and all that and I hope y'all have a good rest of the day or night 
depending on what time you're watching this video from. But yeah, see you soon, guys.